Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And a march against police brutality in Detroit turns deadly. A 19-year-old man is killed after shots are fired into a crowd of hundreds of protesters. That happened in downtown Detroit. And this morning, the shooter is still out there. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us on Local 4 News today. I'm Priya Mann. As you can see, Sean Lay is in the field. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Priya. Good morning, everyone. 6 a.m. here on a Saturday morning and a very busy still this end of downtown Detroit right here at Detroit Public Safety Headquarters. A lot of activity here is where what you're seeing uh, police uh, and different officers and different police vehicles essentially surrounding every entry point of uh, Detroit Police Public Safety. The building here, because there are concerns that the demonstrators slash protesters could come back here even uh, at this hour and try to damage uh, the, the police the headquarters building or per perhaps try to attack officers. This after a chaotic night of what started this peaceful protest then turned into violent demonstrations in the streets of Detroit. Several officers were hurt and then someone uh, in a Durango pulled up to some of these demonstrators, rolled down the window and opened fire, killing a 19 year old man. Here is the very latest. This morning, Detroit police are searching for a gray Dodge Durango. Officers telling us this morning that's the vehicle of the shooter who opened fire on a crowd of hundreds of demonstrators in downtown Detroit late last night. The march against police brutality started peacefully. Around 1,500 protesters in downtown Detroit came together to stand up for George Floyd, the man who was killed after a Minneapolis police officer put his knee on his neck earlier this week. Now, around 11 last night is when things really escalated and the crowd started clashing with Detroit police officers. That a command officer was struck by a rock. We had another officer that was on a bike patrolling when a vehicle came very close purposely to hit him, that person's in arrest. Protesters in Cadillac Square were seen destroying police property, throwing items and taunting officers. Police in full riot gear responded by shooting tear gas into the crowd. We're hearing dozens of people were arrested, and most of them, police say, are from out of town. Do us a favor. If you live outside the city, why don't you protest in your hometown? But I will not stand by and let a small minority of criminals come in here, attack our officers, and make our community unsafe. But I have a serious issue with people coming down here who don't live in the city, who don't pay taxes in this city, who have not fought and organized in the city, who don't know the history of this city, who don't know the organizers of this city. They don't even know the political players in this city. They've never sat down and talked to nobody. They have no respect for the organizations who've been in this city in the trenches doing the real work for years. Back here live in downtown Detroit. Situation certainly not over because Detroit police protecting Detroit police headquarters as we speak this morning, essentially surrounding it, blocking off even Howard Street, which is an entry point and exit point to the lodge, trying to uh, keep traffic down here to a minimum. It is quiet right now, but they are not taking any chances because Priya, tonight we are hearing that there are more protest plans, not just here in downtown Detroit, but also in Lansing. Coming up in our 630 half hour, a closer look at this awful shooting where a 19 year old man, I'm being told by sources, shot right in his chest at uh, point blank range when this Durango pulled up and a, a gun person started firing into this crowd. Back to you. And Sean, is there any sense when some of these demonstrators could be arraigned? Well, I'm sure we just saw the paddy wagons uh, circle the block here uh, that would be used for mass arrest, you know, putting lots of people in the big Detroit police vans. So they're probably being processed at the jail, and then they'll have to uh, ask for charges uh, to kind of find out who these people are, identify them, where they're from, what exactly they did. Perhaps they're going over video as well, and then uh, ask for charges with the prosecutor's office. But when we had demonstrations before, uh, not too terribly long ago, uh, we were told by officers on the scene that they will definitely ask for charges. Anytime people come in right. and disrupt. The chief made it clear protests are welcome in this city, always have been, but when rocks are being thrown, uh, a windshield right. of a police cruiser was ripped out. That person has been identified. The chief says they are going to go pick that person up who lives in the suburbs, uh, not in the city, right. uh, as soon as they can, uh, things of that nature. So, yes, you can expect charges, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, the chief also clearly frustrated with the people coming from outside of the city into Detroit to demonstrate. All right, thank you, Sean. We know you'll keep us updated on the very latest.